Hi, I'm Liam Harrison and today I'm going to show you the top three ways to land a power low kick off of the long knee. If you enjoy the video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Okay, obviously when Andy's looking to long knee off his right leg, he's going to be looking to drive the knee into there, okay? A nice defence I like to use against this one is the open palm of my glove into the throat. So as Andy comes there, I will push there into his throat. The reason we're doing it into the throat is because if you go a bit lower, when you're fighting, there's sweat, there's Vaseline. If I go up there and I slip off, I'm going to slip into the knee, I could slip into an elbow, it's dangerous. But into the throat, there's not much sweat or Vaseline underneath there, so as he comes to the knee, it's easy just to stop him dead. What I'll do is as well, just to make sure the knee doesn't hit me, is I'll stick my backside out just a little bit, just to make, give me a, a bit more room there. Again, if I don't do this, even if my arm's there, you can see the knee can still land, okay? So this is important. This will also give me a bit more momentum as I go to land the power low kick. So what we're going to do, as Andy comes to knee here, I'm going to push there. From there, all I'm going to do is his leg comes back down, he's going to hop in and try and land that low kick to his thigh, okay? So just speeding it up just a little bit as he comes, I'm going to push, boom, and then down to the leg, okay? One more, I'm going to push, hop in, bang, and then go down to the leg. You can see what I'm trying to do there is I'm pushing him back and hopping in into his space to land the low kick. Okay, tip number two. We're going to use a cross block off of the left knee this time and not the right, okay? Obviously when Andy's left knee, he's going to either skip or step and look to land his knee up to there in the midsection, okay? A nice block you can do off this one is the left leg cross block. So as you see the skip or the step on the cross block there, my left arm's going to come out just to help balance myself a little bit and to push on him again. And he steps, there, cross block. Also, as Andy's looking at the knee there, bringing that knee up into this part of the fight, it hurts when you're fighting. Especially if they try and knee you hard and you bring your knee up hard and you get them in there, it does start to hurt. After we've done that, what's going to happen is, we're going to come there. As Andy leg, Andy's leg comes back down, that's when I want to be low kicking straight away. I don't want to give him too long to get set, because if I leave it too long as it comes to knee, if I go there, he's ready to block, he's going to block my low kick, okay? I almost want to be following him backwards. So as the knee comes, as I block, I follow straight down and I hop into the low kick, okay? Again, I have a foot and I hop into it, using my body weight to come this way. Okay, one more time, sped up, stop, low kick. And again, stop, low kick. Okay, tip number three. This time we're going to use the left leg again, but instead of standing strong, we're going to step away slightly. Even if you don't put a counter on the end of this one, as Andy comes to knee there, if I just step away, it's still going to stop the knee landing, it's still going to take all this thing out of it. Even if it's just a really subtle one, when I still stay really close to him, it's going to then give me the chance to counter. Just watch my footwork. All I'm doing is I'm stepping my left leg out, my right leg just coming around a little bit. What I'm not doing is coming all the way around and putting myself in a position where I can't counter. Okay, so as the left knee comes, I'm going to subtly step to there. Again, as soon as Andy's leg touches the floor, that's when the low kick wants to come. Okay, so again as he comes there, I'm going to step round, boom. as soon as his leg touches, I'll low kick. Again, one more time, step round, boom. Okay, and again, step round, boom. Thanks for watching, if you've got any questions, drop them in the comments below. If you like these videos, head over to my training website, liamharrisontraining.com, where there's over 450 videos covering every aspect of Muay Thai.